to the top of this mountain over here, this beautiful manga. Uh, the top is right over there. That's where we'll be heading and along the way I'll talk a bit about some of the uh, New Zealand native plants that we come across and some of the things that I know and that I've learnt about. So if that's something that's your cup of tea, um, stick around as we go for a little hike. One of the many things that make Aotearoa New Zealand so special, in my opinion, uh, one of them is that you can go from the oceans to the mountains within no time, walking distance. And today we will be going over the top of uh, this one over here, the small ridge, and then all the way to the top, which you can't see from here. Uh, a lot of this is clad in regenerating native bush and as we get up higher in some old growth native beech forest. Uh, some of the uh, interesting plants that we'll be covering today. And along the way there's plenty to see so let's start the walk. We have about a thousand meters to go today and in case you're wondering uh, what the track is actually called. Uh, there it is, Mount Robertson, uh, that's what the mountain is called. It is also known by the name Tokomaru, which is the original name of this mountain. You can see on some of the plants that are growing here is a lot of five finger, Fofo Paku, which is growing on this side. Uh, a bit further up north is Kanuka Manuka. Uh, there's some Mamaku tree ferns. There is the beautiful Kawakawa, uh, Mahoi, white two wood. If the people in Wellington ha are having a nice sunny day, then we would be able to see uh, to Ika Maui, the North Island from this point. It would be right around here with the Wellington Harbour and stuff um, all visible. Uh, but as uh, I would almost say per usual, or at least as is the perception of Wellington, uh, they don't have a nice bright sunny day, so I can't show you that. But uh, in theory, at least, it's nice. One of the first things that meets the eye walking up uh, the first part of this track is uh, the amount of young seedlings that have died back most likely because of the dryness, uh, almost a drop that we had. You can see a lot of the young mahoi over here, whitey wood, that have passed away. Uh, and it's interesting because we are on a somewhat south facing slope. So south is kind of somewhere over there. And in the southern hemisphere that means the not so sunny side, the side that barely gets any sun. Uh, so usually those tend to be the moister, uh, more shady spots and you can still see in some of the spots where the water uh, did retain a bit longer, there's a bit more uh, greenness and lushness but even those spots show some plants uh, dying back. I think 2023 uh, this area we had about 460 mils of rain and since June last year uh, as I talked about in the regeneration video uh, update, uh, we've had 200 mils of rain and a lot of these plants uh, definitely need a drink. So as we get up a, a, a wee bit higher, uh, the scenery changes also a wee bit. Uh, they still have a overstory of what seems to me to be Kanuka uh, and a dense undergrowth of all kinds of different beings, uh, a lot of it being Fafapaku uh, um, and as well as some Mingi Mingi. Uh, one other plant that I've sadly come across is the pine that you can see growing in the background which is definitely a topic for a whole nother video. As we get higher up, it seems as if there's a lot more moisture readily available still in the soil. As you can see, for example, in this patch, it is quite squishy and wet and also the ferns seem still to be doing fine putting on a lot of new growth 
uh, which indicates to me that uh, at least compared to the beginning of the walk, uh, there's a lot more uh, water that's uh, available to the plants. It also looks a lot greener and very few young plants that have passed away. Slowly but surely, we're now entering the domain of some of the elders. Oh, I guess that might be a welcome call. Um, difficult to capture this on camera, but this is quite a big tree. <laughs> yeah, you can't really compare it, but you'll have to trust me on this. Uh, and there's quite a few of these around. So, I guess one of the rewards <laughs> of making an effort and climbing up a wee little hill is some of the views that you get.